Hi, guys. Hi. I'm a big fan of strange, thought-provoking movies, and Wolf is definitely that. So uh, it's great to talk to you guys. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. Uh, when I work out, sometimes I'll do bear crawls, uh, and it only takes about 60 seconds uh, for me to just crumble to the floor. So <laughs> I can only imagine how exhausting it was to be on all fours for extended takes. What would you guess is the longest amount of time that each of you spent on all fours? I think there was a, and you know, like we were obviously doing it for like way longer than this, but I think there was like a super, super early cut of the movie wherein there was a, you know, the scene where we're like on, on the roof kind of getting to know each other as our animal selves. There was a cut of it that I think that scene was like 13 minutes long or something like that. Which I always said to Nat, like, I would love to see that. And God, I'm very interested to see that. But yeah, I think that scene was the longest that we were in our kind of like animal personas. Um, yeah. which was fun. That sounds extremely painful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you guys were trained by Terry Notary, too, for this. And there's, there's all these minor details that go into mimicking the movements of a wolf or a wild cat. Uh, for example, like I noticed the exaggerated way your scapula sort of like whines when you walk. How long did it take for you guys to adopt uh, those subtle movements comfortably? It was kind of just, we kind of found, I mean, that sort of like, like the shoulder stuff was, I, it was a kind of mixture of like working with Terry first was kind of trying in a sense, not to mimic so much, but to kind of, you know, get inside of it and uh, uh, get inside of the animal and all the reasons behind it. But then the sort of aesthetic layer that went on top, to be honest, there was a lot of like filming myself on my computer, kind of just trying different positions as to like, like little subtle things like when you lift your knees off the floor and you drop your tummy, it immediately pops your shoulders and sort of knowing that you're kind of, oh, that's where the weight actually sits, you know, in a wolf or that's how I make it look like that in my own body. And, and so the kind of the shoulder thing and, and sort of locking an elbow and putting all your weight on it allows that sort of your body to then arc in a certain way. And that was just a kind of experimentation really. And, and lots of very strange photo booth videos in my, in my flat. <laughs> well, now that you guys have had experience with this, would either of you be interested in taking on a fully CGI character using motion capture, like say a Planet of the Apes film or a Marvel film? Or did this experience make you feel like, nah, that's okay, just regular upright people from now on? No, I mean, I sure, like never say never, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always intrigued by something that is, uh, you know, differs completely from anything that I've done before and I've never done anything like that. So yeah, for sure, why not? Yeah, no, likewise. I think I'm a fan of Terry's work and Andy Circus and and the likes. But also I kind of what I like about this is that we're being as animal as we can be and there is no CG, you know, like right. it's just it's pretty out there because it we're most definitely in our own forms.